what's up beautiful people listening to Arba. welcome to the channel today we have heroes among us lieutenant john r fox also i'm excited to check this one out so yeah let's check it out sacrifice and patriotism. Hi, I'm Mitch Mahi, president of Go For Broke National Education Center. We tell the story of the Japanese American soldiers of World War II, mm. of their courage, patriotism, and sacrifice as they upheld America's promise. The promise that in our nation, no one is to be judged by the color of their skin, the nation of their origin, or the God whom they choose to worship. As we all know, our nation is currently struggling with a crisis of conscience. Despite the promise of America, not all individuals in our nation have been embraced by America's value of equality. Yeah. In support and recognition of the black community, Go For Broke National Education Center will be sharing stories of black American soldiers during World War II, of their courage, of their patriotism, and of their sacrifice. Despite the racism and discrimination they faced, they upheld America's promise, and in doing so, provide us today with a moral sense of direction. Lieutenant John R. Fox was a member of the 92nd Infantry Division a segregated unit of black American troops, better known as the Buffalo Soldiers. On the morning of December 26, 1944, eight Nazi and Italian battalions launched an attack against the 92nd Infantry Division's positions in the Circhio River Valley in Italy. The 92nd was caught off guard by the surprise attack and fell back. As his unit retreated from the town of Somo Colonia, Lieutenant Fox volunteered to remain behind to call for artillery fire against the attacking enemy. Lieutenant Fox and several other Italian partisans took up a position in the second story of a house where they could see the advancing Nazi troops. As the Nazis advanced through the town, Lieutenant Fox radioed in the coordinates and directed artillery fire into the village. As the Nazis came closer and closer to his position, mm. so did the directed artillery fire. Lieutenant Fox's last words clearly indicated his courage and willingness to sacrifice his life. He radioed in, quote, that last round was just where I wanted it. Bring it in 60 yards more, unquote. That would bring the artillery fire right on his position. His commander on the other end was confused and was adamant against his request, stating that it was too close to Fox's position. He asked Lieutenant Fox if he was sure of what he was asking. Lieutenant Fox replied, quote, fire it. There's a lot more of them than there are of us. Give them hell, unquote. Mm. The directed artillery destroyed the house. Lieutenant Fox's heroic deeds held up the Nazi advance and allowed for American forces to regroup for a counterattack. Lieutenant Fox's sacrifice was not immediately recognized by the Army. However, in 1982, Lieutenant Fox was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. A second review in the 1990s resulted in his medal being upgraded. The President of the United States of America has awarded in the name of the Congress the Medal of Honor to First Lieutenant John R. Fox, United States Army, for conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. His wife, Arlene Fox, received the honor on his behalf in 1997. Lieutenant John R. Fox, served and sacrificed his life for the ideals of our nation. Mm. We at Gopher Broke National Education Center honor Lieutenant John R. Fox and those with whom he served. Wow.
faces a lot i must say that um uh, i'm glad that we are in a world or we are living now living where we don't have to experience all of these things anymore especially with um the world war or war thing that war but all the same this was this was really insightful and informative i never even knew anything about the lieutenant about or about lieutenant john fox but yeah this was heartfelt but educative and informative at the same time because believe you me i never knew anything about the uh, about the war oh my god i i am glad that i got to learn and got to watch this and to have an idea of what it looked like or what it was like in those days or in that do that era but all the same um i i would love your input in the comment down below i would love to hear your thoughts what you think about this video and what you think about the um american soldiers and yeah other relevant information that you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video